Hi friends, this is Raghunath. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about some diseases which are caused by microorganisms. As you know, some microorganisms are very beneficial to us. They helps in the conversion of milk into curd, that helps in the decomposition of dead bodies of animals and also used in commercial industry to produce alcohol, wine and acetic acid. Sometimes most of the fungus and bacteria that is helpful in the production of antibiotics, for example, streptomycin, tetracycline, erythromycin. But some microorganisms, which causes very very dangerous diseases in human beings, such kind of diseases which are caused by microorganisms are called microbial diseases. In this session, in this tutorial, we are going to study what are the diseases which are caused by microorganisms, what are the symptoms and how to prevent and control them. Let's move. Microorganisms are of many types like bacteria, protozoans, viruses, alga and fungi. Diseases which are caused by viruses are commonly called viral diseases. Like chikungunya, dengue, avian flu, genital warts, genital herpes, hepatitis B, and AIDS. Some diseases which are caused by bacteria are syphilis and gonorrhea. Both chikungunya and dengue are caused by the same species of mosquito called Aedes aegypti. Aedes aegypti mosquito that lays the egg on stagnant water. These eggs developed into larva. This larva leads into a pupae and final stage is commonly called adult. This pupae develops into an adult and adults lay the eggs in stagnant water. This is the life cycle of Aedes aegypti. Chikungunya is caused by a virus called alpha virus. The word chikungunya is derived from Makonda language of Mashona land in Zimbabwe, which means bends up. Main symptoms are the person who is suffering from chikungunya he got a fever up to about 40 degrees Celsius along with rashes and drunk reason occasionally on limbs. Severe pain in the multiple joints called arthralgia or arthritis. He got pain in the joints. Joint pain is followed by headache and conjunctivities which means redness and pain in the eye. We have to take precautionary measures for this disease because there is no proper treatment for chikungunya according to WHO. We can avoid the mosquitoes by avoiding the stagnation during monsoon season. Clear the water which is collected in coconut shell and unused parts because it provides habitat for the larvae. Spray the insecticides over stagnation or shady places to kill immature larvae. By wearing long sleeved cloths or using mosquito repellents, we can avoid the mosquitoes. We better to use mosquito nets instead of these chemicals. Thank you. The viral fever. The dengue disease is caused by a virus is known as dengue virus. Like chikungunya, dengue is also spread by Aedes aegypti mosquito. It's also known as break bone fever. Main symptoms are sudden onset beginning with headache, fever, exhaustion. Means the person who is suffering from dengue, 
he got all the symptoms at the evening time. Secondly, joint pain, rashes, swollen glands, bleeding gums, pain behind the eye, and redness and palm and sole. One of the main symptoms of dengue is reduced platelet count means platelet count drastically decreases in the blood. The spreading mosquito are known to be most active early in the morning and the late afternoon. As I already mentioned, according to WHO, there is no specific antiviral drug treatment for chikungunya. After all this, now you are able to differentiate the chikungunya and the dengue with respect to their causes and symptoms. Avian flu, the viral and the airborne disease. It's also commonly called bird flu. It is caused by a virus called avian influenza. Many types of influenza causes many diseases just like a swine flu. It can easily spread from person to person and place to place through the air media. Subtypes of influenza viruses are named as H1N1, H5N1. Usually H5N1 causes bar flu. H indicates hemagglutinin and N indicates neuraminidase. The saliva and feces of birds carries the viruses up to about 10 days. It spreads through contaminated surfaces also. The person who is suffering from avian flu, he shows many symptoms like cough and breathing difficulty because these viruses enters the lungs directly through the nose and causes respiratory disorders. Here you can observe the differences between swine flu and bird flu. The other symptoms of this disease are fever up to about 38 degrees centigrade, diarrhea, sore throat, headache, running nose. To control this disease, we have to take some precautionary measures like avoid visiting the birds market of infected areas. And the people who work with the birds should use protective clothing and special breathing masks. These breathing masks protect us from the entering of viruses into the lungs. And the foremost thing is, avoid partially cooked or uncooked meat because it carries viruses easily.